Hello guys. Uh, today's topic is uh, sensual massage, and uh, it's so so many misunderstanding about this phenomenon of uh, sensual massage. Because everybody thinks that sensual massage has got to be uh, involving the touching the uh, genitals and happy endings and all that. Uh, well. That has nothing to do with sensual massage, because um, they teach massage therapists at school. They give certain courses on sensual massages, and it's um, basically it's uh, one of the modalities of massage therapy. The massage therapist has to know though how to um, professionally uh, give this kind of technique to a client. Before you watch this uh, technique, as a massage therapist, you have to know uh, uh, what is the indications for uh, sensual massage. Well, one of the important indications is uh, loss of libido. Uh, libido is uh, it's a sexual arousal, and it's actually controlled uh, by humoral system. Well, humoral system is uh, mostly it's uh, you know follicular stimulatory hormones, uh, then luteinizing hormone, and testosterone, estrogens, and um, a lot of neuromediators. Those hormones they kind of uh, they facilitate the nerve system because. Uh, if you go in depth, actual uh, regulator of uh, sexual arousal is a neurohumoral system, which is combination of nerve system with humoral system. Well, um, for massage therapy, you don't have to know the humoral system because humoral system, as I said, it's just uh, it uh, kind of uh, supports the. Uh, nerve system. It gives it, it contributes its uh, balance so uh, nerve system will perform kind of in a uh, best way. So um, of course if you have a, some client and they would say you know I have a problem I lost libido and I uh, have depressed moods and lost appetite because of that. Well, of course, you don't have to uh, uh, refer him to gynecologist, urologist, exopathologist, because uh, that client came to you. So you have to address that uh, complaints, and the that's the that's the time when you use your knowledge on sensual massage. Your sensual massage addresses the primary uh, system which is nerve system. We cannot, we, uh, by no means, we can uh, not influence on humoral system by hands. We, the, mostly we stimulate the nerve system. So the nerve system, it's, it's kind of, it's an acceptor of uh, humoral system. So, um, for example, if you have a if you have no nerves, you won't feel anything. And all humoral system will have no use because uh, it's um, the primarily, the basic thing. What you feel you are is your nerve system. And humoral system is just like, um, you know, juice, like life juice, vitalizing the nerve system and all that. And, and nerve is uh, nourishing by that. So, um, massage therapy is stimulation of nerve system. And what I mean, what I'm trying to say is um, we have to kind of eliminate all humoral system. Because if you have old client, postmenopausal or uh, peripheral artery disease, 
diabetes, they, they all have uh, humoral problems. They all have uh, low estrogen, low testosterone, and everything. You cannot raise it up. You just, uh, the only thing you can do is uh, you perform the sensual massage. And sensual massage by itself uh, is a technique which is based on ancient medicine. And ancient medicine says that um, by sensual massage you can actually restore the libido of your client. And how it happens? The ancient medicine says that um, libido or sexual arousal uh, happens in the way of uh, when air of pleasure being created in the skin mixes with the blood and that mixture goes to a genital and genital hungry for that mixture and that genital uh, being touched with this mixture engorges and uh, live with passion. That's, that's what the uh, ancient medicine says. So the, the first part is the part uh, where air of pleasure being created by skin. It's, um, this air of pleasure actually is a nitric oxide, which is the only uh, near mediator which acts in um, sexual system and genitals. So that nitric oxide is um, a very important substance in sexual arousal. So massage therapy of sensual massage is actually to help skin and other skin to uh, create that nitric oxide, which is um, which is felt by body as a very pleasant itching sensation, because the sexual arousal actually is uh, when when your body feels that. Uh, it's not exactly like itching, but it's similar to that feeling. So when you feel that itching, and let's say you have your skin itches, right? And then you just wait, like, you restrain yourself for scratching that spot for a few seconds. And then it comes to the point where you can't even, uh, you know, hold yourself. So then you scratch it, and then you feel like mini orgasm. Well, that's that's the same thing with um, sensual massage. You just you have to intuitively you have to find when client feels that uh, you know pleasure of e itching, and then you just go go ahead and you know find those spots. And um, when you do like. When, when you do those massages like 10 times and you tell the client do not have any sex during that uh, procedures, let's say like 30 days, if you do each uh, uh, massage like three days, so at that time that uh, itching, you know, deep itching sensation will uh, create the, it's like uh, recharging your battery, you know, when you, uh, when your phone is dead, so you put it on a charger, and then it charges, 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 and then it's in full battery. So, same thing, you just, uh, little by little, you increase that sensation, so body will kind of, uh, you indulge the body in that pleasure, and that pleasure will create that air of pleasure and then the air of pleasure will mix with blood so that uh, the air of pleasure is actually nitric oxide so if you have a 
you know, a sufficient amount of nitric oxide so your uh, sexual uh, abilities uh, will be normal. So um, I think that's it, what I wanted to say.